that's not teach you how to print the picture with uh, white layer and color layer and varnish layer on the back uh, on the black material like uh, um, black black wood or black metal or some dark materials. You need to print a white for the layer and also print the varnish on the top of the color layer to get the crystal effect. So we take a picture for for sure. For example, we want to print this picture. From this picture, we can see uh, first uh, there are some trees and some flowers and also some fish. So, for example, if we want to print uh, this picture on the uh, dark material, so first we must print white ink, white layer. So we want to print the floor with white ink, and also we want to print this picture with the three D embers results as a real life quality. We want to make the trees, we want to touch the print out, print out picture, the trees and the flowers have uh, the 3D embers result. So how to do it? So first we need to uh, process the picture from Photoshop. So first we open the Photoshop and we load the picture we want to process. This picture will load to the Photoshop. Okay. After that, first we need to check to be sure the picture is CMYK model. The CMYK already. Okay. So first uh, we need to select the layer. This is the layer. And this is the layer as, uh, after create. So we can first select the, select the area we want to print white ink. And this is the color layer, we don't need to do any setting. So first we must use the uh, magic wand tools to select all the area we want to print the white. First we, first we create the white channel, and we can use the selecting tools, and then we choose similar. And also we select, we place the author from the keyboard, and we also keep select another. We place the shift, shift from the keyboard, and we select the fish and all the area we want to print the white layer. So the selected area is printed for Amber's result. Also the words. This is for select the embers result. Okay, so this first after we select, we go to we go to the channel, go to channel, and we go to we can see here CMYK, and then we need to go to the setting here, and we select new spot channel. Must choose the new spot channel. Can now choose the new channel, new spot channel, and we go to fill the ink for CMYK with the dark. The most dark. The more the more ink you feel here, the more white ink will be coming out, and the better embers result will be printed out. And the solidity we put one hundred percent. Okay, so this is the embers area you want to print. We click off, and so we can get here. This is the one. Uh, this is the white layer for white ink for embers. And also we want to print the same area for varnish on the top of the color. So we can also in the same way to select the area we want. For example, we want to print the same position. 
And also one more thing, if you want to print here, just only the dark area have white ink. But if but because we want to print on the dark material, so also we need to create another area for fear with less ink. So we just uh, go to the selection uh, because the match two words and we select all the white white background and similar. And then we go to select, uh, we go by this one, this one, selection tools, and we go to fear. And here we must remember that, that we must fear less ink, less ink. So the more light, we just feel a little bit lighter, or like this. The more less, the, the, the less color you fear, and the less white ink will be coming out. So we buy this way. And with fear, now we can see here. So on the gray area is printed with less white ink, and the dark black area printed with full white ink, maximum white ink. Then we can get an uh, inverse result, and also we can get the we can cover that the black material by the white less white layer as the gray. Okay, so this is the the white channel. We, we, when we click off the same way, we can see this the white spot channel to print white ink. The more dark, the more white ink coming out to get a, get a, so we can get a 3D life quality. And then we create a channel for varnish. And also the same way, we can just uh, first click off this and we go to the layer and we select all the area we want to print with, with varnish. For example, we want to print the, just the, the flowers and the fish with varnish. We can make the torrents bigger, and we select similar. And also, we can place the the outer from keyboard, and we delete the area we don't want print with varnish. Or we reduce, we control and D, and then we reduce a little bit for the turns, and we put this by 435, and we select again by similar. Okay, and just here with varnish, and also we want to put the, the fish with varnish, so we just uh, Click, uh, we press the shift shift from the keyboard and we select the fish and the area we want to print with varnish as this. Okay, so base we get uh, selection. Then we go to also the the channel, and we go to the selection by new spot channel. And also here, the light ink you fear some the less varnish print out. The dark ink you fear the dark color you fear the the more varnish print out. So we suggest to use the maximal. Same way, okay, just fear 100. Also 100, so I'm click OK. And OK, here is the, it's for one issue channel. Okay, then we can get a one issue layer. We click off the same way, okay, and we can see this is for one issue, and this is for white, and this is for same way, okay. So this is the, the basic processing procedure to, to process a picture from Photoshop to create a channel for white and also a channel for orange print. And also, you, if you want to print, you must click on the eyes. If you click off the eyes, it will not print white and orange also. 
So we click be sure CMYK white to vanish all the channel we are click on and the layers we click on and here and just click off and it's must click on the eyes click on the eyes d1 print okay then we go to fire and save as a picture so this picture is for cmyk lclm and white and varnish it's for for three embers results real life results <clears throat> so this is the basic uh, procedure and also i teach you another way to uh, just print with uh, grayscale for example i want i don't want to select the area one print and i just want to print a picture like this picture i want to print uh the the white ink the gray scale the white ink signal is the same as the, the color picture the more dark uh, area the more dark picture the more dark pixel print the more white ink and so we need to create a gray scale to print as gray scale result so i'll teach you how to do first uh, we also go to the channel and the layer and Go to the channel and we delete we delete the, the before the for 3D embassy and we go to channel we must keep the CMYK not, not delete we must keep this on and we delete okay this is the normal picture as before so how to process the grayscale white ink print so we go to the layer and we uh, go to the channel and we just click on the do, do nothing and we just click on this icon to load as the grayscale okay then we go to choose the second the selection tools and we right click on the mouse and we choose by select inverse Okay, then we go to new spot channel, and also we can fill the ink for white. So this is for white layer. So when we click off the CMYK, we can see this is the grayscale for print white ink. So on the more dark area, this is the the dark the the dark the black area print the maximum white ink. And the lighter area print the less white ink, then we can get a grayscale uh, print quality. Also, we can get a 3D embers results. And also, we can adjust if you think the grayscale is not enough, the, the touch, the kind of feeling is not 3D enough, we can go to choose uh, adjustment. Pierce. Here we can also first we must be sure we select this white layer and we adjust the curve. The lighter it means less white ink mm. and push up a small white ink and like this a spool of white ink for all area and we can adjust like this to get a better and better white ink uh, embers results. And click OK. And just remember one thing: the the more dark, the more dark show on the screen, the more white ink print out. And also, we can go to uh, the image and we go to uh, show, and also we can adjust the area and darkness, like like Victor result. So this here also we can adjust uh, the position and uh, quality effect for white ink print and also for varnish so if you want to print the floor with varnish you also do the same way uh, select if you want to print uh, just the, the varnish on the fish and on the flowers just to do the spot channel as, as before but if we want to print the full with varnish okay we just select 
all the area and we go to channel and the new spot channel and we this is the varnish layer any words is okay okay this is the varnish layer so we can put the full bit varnish on the top of the white layer uh, and, and, and then the same YK layer and also we click on and we save So this is the same way with white with varnish. It's called grayscale print. So these two different methods to adjust the picture, process the picture to get different printing effect. And also Master B have online tutorial video to teach you how to use the Photoshop to get nice printing quality, nice print results, and also have some uh, ex working experience to share with you. You just uh, keep to focus on Master B YouTube channel. Okay, now after we process the picture and we create the uh, spot channel from Photoshop, then we can start to rip a picture from reprint to print the white ink and varnish by spot channel to print on di in a different material. So first we need to insert the USB dongle key to a computer and then we open the reprint. So first also after we open it we go to reprint and we go to print the setting and we be sure the print model is Epson SP600 plus UV to, to keep it as default, set as default. And then we uh, place new and we then we go to import, import picture that we want to print with white color varnish, such as we loaded the picture after we processed before from Photoshop by this T format. Then we open it. And then we write a click and set the upper side, for example, we put by 300 millimeter. And we must keep the picture inside of the wet area. If we pull the picture like this, so on the out of the position, we cannot print it out. So we just be sure it's inside of the rip editor window. Any position is okay, just be inside the white layer. Okay, then we go to the spot channel and we keep the first uh, is white channel, white ink channel. We keep, we choose by spot and keep default one, one, and density increase. If you choose spot, then the density increase from zero to 100% is little change. But if you choose another image base or other automatically create the spot, spot color channel, so the, the density increase will be effect more, will be more wetness. So normally we choose spot channel from that, that we create from Photoshop. And then we can go to the half toning type. We can choose the large to middle dot or the symmetrical model or this one. Normally we choose this, this one. And then we choose this one. This one is larger, small, middle, equal dot. And then we bleeding is for anti overlap So normally we just uh, keep as plus, must use plus, but not increase. We use plus. Manner, we use, uh, so we use uh, manners, but not plus, not uh, plus. We use manners to it to make the edge, the white ink edge, smaller than the color layer. <clears throat> then the white ink will not print overlap. So normally we just uh, set at 0 0.01 or 0 0.5. But if you print, uh, print with a higher resolution and with a small character, a small number, so we need to make it smaller. This just uh, for overlap, anti-overlap, white ink overlap. Then we set the another spot color by. Varnish. So this is the varnish. We also put 
we put as we choose the model and we also choose the overlap by minus 0 0.05 millimeter and then plus press OK. Then we go to print. And here we also choose the, the correct ICC profile by the print, the ink model and the resolution, the speed and ink type by soft UV or hot UV. And advanced, if you want more dark, so you just click on. And if we want print out pictures more shiny, less ink, so you can click off. And then we keep a default and then we go to print. So first, this is very important because if you choose the wrong ICC profile, then the color the, and the print quality will be totally different. And also, if you use the wrong ink, for example, you take the ink from the market and the ink is not the take from focus, so the ICC profile also will be totally different. So we strongly recommend you to take the ink and use the current ICC profile to match with the color and print quality from focus. Okay, after you set everything, then we can choose print, click print, and we set the file by test the print file with white and varnish. And then we start processing. The print speed, the, the rip print, the rip speed is dependent on the wet ink overlap we set. If we set the more by minus 0 0.08, we'll be more slowly. If we make this less by 0 0.01, we'll be more quickly. And also it depends on the picture memory and the size. So now it's finished. After finish, then we can go to control software and we open the picture and then we can start print the picture on the material by white layer and color on the middle and then varnish on the top of the color layer to print with three kinds of inks by spot channel.